Hi and welcome to Azure Data Explorer Shorts. My name is Vincent. I'm with the Azure Data Explorer group. Today we're going to talk about query performance, more specifically about time filters. Objective of this session to better understand the query best practices, as more specifically the time filter and how time filter can drastically improve query performance. But first, why query performance? Why do we want query performance? Uh, for better performance, obviously, so we can process more queries. The faster our queries can go through, the more queries we can push to Azure Data Explorer. And finally, so where we can run on less hardware. If that seems counterintuitive, think about it the other way around. If we run non-optimized queries, the only way to make them run in a performant way is to throw hardware at the problem up to a point. So potentially we can reduce the hardware if we run performant queries. Let's look at the query best practices. Those are available to the tiny URL over there. Alternatively, we can just search for it. Here on the Azure Data Explorer main documentation page, let's look for query best practices. Boom, time filters, first one. But let's look in general, we have many tricks, tips, and best practices for improving the performance of our queries. And if you look at them all, you'll realize that some apply to strings, some apply to if you do a summarize or a join, one applies nearly all the time. It is the time filter. Now, if you're like me, you might look at that and say, okay, use time filters first. And the first question that popped through my mind the first time I saw that was what time? What, is there a special time, a special time column I'm not aware of? Is it like a hidden column inside the, the data set? Uh, Azure Data Explorer records like a time column, or it's a special column and I need to filter over it. So let's look at that. So the quick answer to that question is any time column, any real physical time column attached to a table as opposed to a derived value in a query, as long as that time is correlated to the ingestion time. As long as that date time value grows in parallel with the ingestion time. If we remember a previous video where we looked at extents or shards inside Azure Data Explorer, we saw that a table is basically partitioned into extents and extents are created as data get ingested. So basically the data by default gets partitioned along ingestion time. So if we have a table with multiple extents, those extents will line up with the ingestion time. Now, if we run a query against that table, the query planner will have to look at all the extents and basically push the query to each of the extents. So the extents are all indexed and we'll have to consult the index of each of the extents. Now, if we add a filter on any timestamp on any date time column of this table, Custo is able to optimize the query in a better way. It's able to say, hey, you know what? Only those last three extents satisfied this filter on the data column. I'm going to push a query only to those three extents. So you can imagine in general, we have a big performance gain by doing that because we do less work, less work, faster. Important to be noted that this optimization is only possible for date time column at the moment. Let's look at this in practice. Here I'm in Azure Data Explorer Web UI, and I'm gonna look at a table. This table over here, that has many rows. It has 40 million rows. That seems to be a good candidate to do kind of a performance test. Now, keep in mind, those numbers will vary, your mileage will vary, it's just to give you an idea. So here I'm gonna do a query. I'm gonna use that table and I'm gonna summarize, basically I'm gonna count. I'm gonna have a column called cardinality where I basically count number of rows by event level. So that's just an integer column and then by time bucket, which is gonna be a bucket time with the physical column called timestamp and using one day interval. Let me put that on multiple lines so we can read. Okay, so up to now, what I'm doing is I'm simply counting the number of event 
that I have per slice of one day. And I'm gonna order those count by the time in the time bucket. And I'm gonna say, well, just, just take the top 10, okay? And then I'm gonna run this. And it's gonna take a fair while because what I'm doing here, I didn't give the opportunity to Cousteau to optimize this in terms of uh, time filter. I'm basically working around the time filter. I, this query is a bit artificial, I'll grant you that. I'm basically ordering the time bucket and then taking the top 10. So I'm kind of filtering by just taking the tip of the iceberg of the ordered values. And you can see, you can see this is, those are the values returned with the cardinality. So it took about 10 seconds. Now, if I would do the same query, but the first thing I would do is apply a time filter. I'm going to say time, time, timestamp must be between date time and two days after that date. That's good enough for me. And then do the same thing I did before. This took 10 seconds and this takes 1.3 seconds. Again, your mileage will vary. But you can see it is much faster. And if I would look at the query plan, I would see why. But basically the idea is that here I put a time filter, which allowed the Custo query optimizer to say, let's only take the extent that satisfy this filter and run the query with it. And that drastically improved the performance. Now we'll share an article written by our colleague Yoni, who goes through more details on that topic in the description of the video. Quickly, consequences on what we've learned. Custo is highly optimized to use time filters. Time filters boost query performances, and it only works with time columns, remember that. Time filters can be on any daytime physical column correlated with ingestion time. You can have outliers. You could have a late arrival in your IoT telemetry. It's okay, you'll pick uh, maybe another extent along the way, but you won't go through the index of a thousand extents, you'll just pick up a few ones, typically the latest one. And this is basically leveraging the fact that Custo very often is used as a time database. So the data is ingested and we are interested in the latest arrival or the latest data. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Otherwise, please follow us on the following platforms. And until next time.